Okay, once again, let me start by asking, how do you feel today? In this first day of class, this new year, how do you feel? Sad? Nervous. Ah, that's good. How about Marcus? Teacher. Yes. Can I go to the bathroom? Sige, you may. Yes, Dominic. I feel happy. Ah, that's great. How about Moira? Um, I feel a bit sad because my Lola is sick. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much for being honest, Moira. How about Darcy? I'm sad because my mom in January 13 just going to Dubai again. Ooh, okay, thank you so much for sharing that, Lexa. How about Dennis? I feel grateful. Wow, you feel grateful. <laughs> That's a big word, grateful. How about Ayala? I feel kind of sad because the vacation is over. <laughs> you feel a kind of sad. And because... grumpy. <laughs> okay, I want the Christmas to last forever. You can uh, treat every day as Christmas. It's your choice. <laughs> you can choose to do so. How about Marsha? Amazing. Come again, sorry. Amazing. How oh, you feel amazing? Oh, that's great. How about Ita? Feel happy because I got a new drone to the camera. Wow. You feel happy because you have a new gadget, huh? How about Axel? Axel, how do you feel today? I feel a bit sad too. Why? Because I remember when my baby hamsters literally died. <laughs> That's very sad also. Okay, I'm sorry for that, Axel. How about si Zachary? Zach, how are you? How do you feel today? I feel a little sad because kids can't go in the mall already. Mm -hmm. Medyo madami sa inyong sad, ha? New Year na New Year. <laughs> but I understand why you're sad. And it's okay. It's all right to be sad. How about Elam? Ellie? Ellie, are you there? <laughs> okay, it seems like Ellie is not in front of his computer. Anyways, the reason why I ask you that question is because our topic for today is related to feelings. And its title is, I feel you. <laughs> Can you honestly say that to someone who is having the same struggle with you? For example, medyo malungkot ka, no? Tapos, nakita ka malungkot din. Can you say to that person, I feel you? <laughs> well, Later on, we'll find out what are the common feelings that we feel and what are the feelings that we should avoid or we should um, address. Okay, so for today, the objectives lesson, and here's our activity. Okay, so for this activity, I want you to get your notebook and get your crayons. Okay, get your notebook and your crayons. Okay, so type, the title of this activity is Color Your Feelings. Teacher? Yes? Can, can we use um, marker? Yes, you may. Okay. okay. Pero, I know ha, dapat different colors, no. At least you have the marker that represents the color of what you feel. You are know, non colors. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so for this activity, this is what you're going to do. We're going to show through colors how you feel by drawing something that is with the same color. For example, you feel sad 
And sad is related to color violet. So what a is color violet? Of course, it's grapes. Diba? Automatically, grapes yung mayroon natin. So you will draw grapes and color it with violet. Okay? So for those who feel happy, you can choose color yellow. For those who feel um, sleepy, you can choose color gray. For those who feel hot, maybe you can choose color red or color orange. And for those who feel cold, you can choose color blue. Okay? Anything for else? Teacher, we can choose yeah. red. Red is hot when you feel hot. Teacher, happy. happy is yellow. What color is it? Color green is peaceful. Teacher. Yes, Dominic. What happens if, I'm, if, if I have two emotions? Okay lang, kahit dalawa. That means that you would also draw two fruits, uh, two things that represents what color you feel. Yes, Here. Ethan? Should I draw a mango? Because I feel pretty happy. There's no yellow grapes. No, you, we should draw something that is color yellow. For example, the sun. Okay? Things that would represent the color that you chose. Yes, Marcus? Okay, can you draw happy again? Huh? That color is happy. Yellow. Any more questions? Teacher, teacher. Yes, Axel. What color is sleepy? Gray. <laughs> I cannot find anything that is color gray. <laughs> Maybe clouds. Sometimes when it's stormy, the bad that clouds turns gray. <laughs> teacher, we can use the pencil. Yes. Okay. Okay. Any questions? And <laughs> Yes. Um. Sam. What does green mean? Gray means sleepy. <laughs> I green. A green, peaceful. Okay, teacher. Dominic, yes? What is sad? What color is sad? Sad. Blue. It can be blue. It can be violet. Yeah. Myra. Teacher, can you oh, make a uh, faces? How many drawing, teacher? Mm, uh, depending on how many feelings do you feel right now. <laughs> okay. Yes, Ethan? Can I use three colors? Because yes. I'm going to draw grass, okay. sky, and sun. Okay. Um, yes, Sab? Is it okay if I draw a fruit with two colors? Yes, of course. Eliana? Okay. Can you just like draw a picture and the, what the color it is? That's our emotion. Yes, of course. Okay, so you only have five minutes to do the activity. Okay, are you now ready to do that? Your five minutes starts now. I can think of all the times you told me now to touch the light. I never thought that you would be the one I couldn't really justify How you even thought it could be right Cause everything we cherished is gone And in the end Can you tell me if It was worth a try So I can decide Leaves will soon grow from the boundless of trees And all will be alright in time From waves overgrown come the calmest of seas And all will be alright in time Oh, you never really love someone until 
learn to forgive. Try as hard as I might to flee the shadows of the night. It haunts me and it makes me feel blue. But how can I try to hide when every breath and every hour I still end up thinking of you? And in the end, everything we have、Dad. makes it worth the fight. So why? As long as the leaves will soon go from the banners of trees, you know we'll be alright in time. From waves overgrown come the calmest of seas, you know we'll be alright in time. Oh, you never really love someone. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's have the processing questions. Actually, um, I'm going to revise this because these questions are very simple, and I've already heard the reason of some for having their colors. Now, I just would like to see first what you have done. Can you show the the camera your work? Finish or not yet finished? May I see your work? Okay, that's pretty amazing. My shark, my sun, wow, my clouds, my logo, my lemon, <laughs> my pineapple. That's great. Thank you so much. You're very creative, talaga, no? Okay, so, ayan. So hindi ko na uusi sa akin kung bakit ganon color sa tindi mo, because I heard. Sir, what is the color of coldness? Coldness is blue. Okay, so we'll skip this part, and we'll have this processing points in the activity. Okay, I made you. I know. I asked you to do that activity simply because 
I want you to realize that you have feelings. It is important for us to know that we have feelings. Why? Because if hindi natin alam na may feelings tayo at may feelings sa ibang tao, we will be so careless about the things that we are doing. No? Hindi na natin uh, iintindihin kung ano yung maramdaman natin at maramdaman ng ibang tao. For example, hindi mo alam na may feeling ka, hindi mo alam kung ano pakiramdaman na sasaktan. If you can look at my drawing. Itan, I'm already discussing. That's good, that's nice. I already asked you to show that a while ago. Okay, so again, as what I'm saying, kung hindi mo alam na may feelings ka, kung hindi mo alam na nasasaktan ka, baka mag-jiwa ka ng match. No? Dumumun ka, no? tapos wala kang nararamdaman, hindi mo alam, nasasaktan ka na pala, mamatay ka na. So it's very important for us to know that we have feelings. Next. It is also important to understand how you feel. Okay, bakit maganda yung nararamdaman ko? Bakit ako nagagalit sa classmate ko? Bakit ba ako pinapagalitan ng nandito? Okay, it's important for you to understand that because it only, only in understanding that, you will be able to accept what you're feeling. And lastly, it is important to deal with feelings properly. Kailangan yung nararamdaman natin, hindi lang natin natin nalaman. Kapag unpleasant yan, kailangan gawan natin ng paraan. But here's another question. What are the unpleasant feelings that you should handle properly as children? And ano ba yung mga feelings na dapat ingatan natin? At huwag natin basta-basta na dead mahin bilang bata. First among the leaks is hunger. Have you ever felt angry? O kaya, meron na bang tao na nagalit sa'yo? Oo. Operation. Okay, almost a million times. A <laughs> million times. Let me guess who is that. That could My mom. be your parent, di ba? <laughs> Ikaw ba ta? Ang oh, kulit-kulit mo talaga. Ang likod-likod mo. Napakapasaway mo. <laughs> di ba? You might have heard that a lot of times from your parents, especially when you are younger. Di ba? Because... All you want to do is to play, 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 and play. Kaya ako ano yung masasabi niya sa bahay, kung ano yung nasisira mo, it's because you're not yet that disciplined. Pero kung hanggang ngayon, lagi ka po yung papagalitan, nako, baka iba na yan, baka sobra na yung pagiging pasalan mo. Okay? Aside from anger, we also feel shame. Nahihiya tayo. For example, nakakita tayo ng classmate natin, no? Tapos sabi ng mother mo, Uy, mag-hiya ka, classmate mo yun. Ang sabi mo, iyo ko, hiya ako. <laughs> we sometimes feel that way. And it's, it's very normal. Pero dapat hindi ka mag-stick doon. Hindi perfect normal yun. Eh. Wala ka nang gagawin na perfect. Later on, we'll discuss what we're going to do about those situations. Next is fear. Have you ever felt afraid? Nakaramdam talaga ng takot. Takot sa salamin, takot sa penis mo. No, just, just kidding. Takot sa swam, sa mumu, sa dream, sa ipi, sa langgam. <laughs> All those different kinds of fear. It's very uncomfortable. Okay. But it's normal to feel that way. Okay? Always remember that. Next, loneliness. Yung feeling na mag-isa ka lang, kumakang kasama sa bahay, hiniwang ka rin namin at kakay, di ba? It's very uncomfortable. But then, siyempre, dapat alalahanin natin that God is always with us. Kaya dapat, hindi tayo maging lonely, even though alone tayo. Okay? Yes, Dominic? No. No one goes out without me because we have two helpers. And they always stay with me oh, while my good. mom and dad are gone and my lolo and lola are at work. That's good. Okay, at least you have someone who is with you when your uh, nanay and tata is gone. And lastly, frustration. This usually happens kapag tambak na yung sick works, yung activities, yung mga pipis na kailangan natin gawin. No? Pero frustrate tayo kasi para hindi na natin magawa kung gusto natin kasi 
Ang dami nating mga bagay na dapat gawin. So teacher, with all those things that you have mentioned, how can we handle such unpleasant feelings? Okay? So I have here a key word which will make it easier for you to remember what you should do. Okay? And the key word is catch. And what does catch mean? C stands for become. Kalma ka lang, hindi na malalim. And remember na masusurvive mo yung challenge nila. Next, accept your feelings. Nadadepress ka, nalulungkot ka, accept that. Because it's all normal. Next. Think positive. Okay? Huwag mo iisipin na talagang dead end na to. Wala na akong magagawa. Iyak na lang ako. Masalo ka wala na magagawa kapag umiyak ka na lang ako. Iyak. Okay? Try won't solve any problem. Kaya dapat, you should think positive. And lastly, call for help. Your parents are always there for you. We, your teachers are always here for you. We just need to tap us and to call for help, and we are always here to call for you, okay? Always remember that God gives you these parents, these teachers, these friends, in order for you to feel His presence in your life, okay? That's why you should always call for help if necessary, okay? Things to bear in mind, first is that experiencing feelings, particularly the unpleasant ones, such as fear, frustration, um, loneliness, are normal. Normal lang as a person. And to ensure that you do not harm yourself or anyone because of unpleasant feelings, you should always catch your feelings. Okay? Are we clear? Are there any questions or clarifications regarding our discussion? None? Did you learn something important from today's lesson? I really hope so. Okay, may dinag over time para na sa minutes. But that will be all for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening and actively participating. Yung activity natin for today, hindi mo na ipapasa yun for today. Ngayon, ha? Sa Wednesday na yan. Kasama ng activity na gagawin nyo on Wednesday. Okay? So that will be all for now. Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year. Bye. 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 Bye.